every moment that you realize that you're already escalating, just take a moment and take a deep breath. This is Parenting Essentials, the home of key strategies to parenting. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, and welcome. And on this week's episode, I'll be talking about anger management for parents. And I'll be talking about techniques in which you can control your anger and stay calm when you're dealing with your child or children. Once again, you are welcome on Preventing Essentials. <laughs> Stop it! When we react emotionally and lose control to our children's attitude, we are allowing them to determine how we behave rather than the other way around. Do you know that parents always believe that they need to put their child under control immediately. Meanwhile, we are supposed to take a moment to think and put ourselves under control first. As a parent, as a mother or father, when your child is out of control, if you don't put yourself under control first by taking a moment to think before you take action, you will lose control. So how do you handle that? When your child is out of control, instead of you allowing your child to get on your nerves, to press the button, just take a moment, pause, think about it, relax. You don't have to deal with it immediately. Then, when you put yourself under control, you can now deal with the situation. When you try to manage your child's behavior instead of your anxiety, what you are simply saying as parent is, I am out of control. I need you to do better so that I can feel good. The mother is out of control or daddy is out of control. You need your child to do better so that you can be okay. So it's very important for us to manage our anxiety first before we manage our child's behavior. Think of it this way. If you as parent cannot stay calm and be in control, you are simply creating the same atmosphere that you are trying to avoid. Here are some techniques that will be of help. Number one, make a commitment to stay in control. I understand that it is not easy to always stay in control. It's going to take your commitment and my commitment as a mother. You have to be determined I want to stay in control. I need to be calm when necessary. I need to look away when needed. Stay in control. Get grip of your emotion first. Then you can deal with your child's misbehavior. Number two, always expect your child to press your button. Don't forget that children will always be children. When we ask our children to do something, and if they do otherwise, we tend to get upset. We tend to be annoying, we tend to be like, if care is not taken, we start to rant. Why didn't you do that? Why did you do this? I have to do the dishes. You didn't do your assignment and everything. But when we are like, we have it at the back of our mind that children at the point, we act just the way they are. And our duty as parents is to take control. That will not cut us unaware. Like we know it will get to a point. Is it that they get tired or, you know, they always come up with this attitude and it's quite normal for children to behave that way but don't forget it's also normal for you to be aware that children will do this and you have to be in control so always expect the children to press the button children will test your limits your job is to stay calm I know sometimes they push you to the wall that you, you get to that boiling point like you want just want to bust. Why did you do that? You didn't do that. You know, maybe you've been warning or you've been waiting, you've been trying to calm and things like that. That is when you apply your limits. Ensure you have the limits. Let your child know the limit he or she can go. When the limits are being exceeded by your child, 
then your child will be accountable. You have to be guided by the way you want to see yourself. Sometimes we need to overlook. Many a times we parents, especially mothers, find it so hard to overlook some cases. We have to now stay calm and overlook. Just ask yourself, does it really matter? Is that really a big deal? Your child just spill water or something. Obviously, you've given a warning. That water is going to spill. Be careful. At the end of the day, the water got spilled. Don't forget that is why you are the mother. You saw that coming. Then you started yelling and it is time to stay calm. And just think about, does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. Why not just tell your child, get a rag and wipe? Just clean it up. Or you just overlook. Just see what your child is going to do. You know, we really need to adopt this method. Just overlook. Just stay calm. Does it matter? Is it going to harm your child? Do I need to rant now? Do I need to shout now? So when we are thinking about all this in our head, we need to take a moment and just take calm. It is not bad for you to take a walk. Just walk away. You can go into the washroom. You can go into your room. Sometimes you just get distracted. Instead of you getting so emotional and getting out of control, in the name of controlling your child, you getting out of control. Why not step out? that same why not just excuse yourself and just take calm then you come back and address the situation so it's very important to just ensure that we are using our key it's what works for you might not work for me so you have to really find out you know the most important thing for you is to know what are the points that you get to that you can get out bust what are the things that get you upset and it's most of the time if you can check your child's routine most of the time, maybe it's when your child wants to sleep. Maybe it's every five o'clock. Then you have to you have to take time and study. If only we can take our time and check. Why is my child always getting cranky at this time? Why is my child not listening at this particular time? Why is my child not always ready to do their own work at this time? These are the things that get you up there, that get you out of control. So if only we can track these things and just find out why. How can this be? How can we help? Because if, if we find out the problems, we can look for the solution. And if these are the things that you know you can't really help, but you know it's going to happen, then you prepare your mind that this is going to happen now. I know my child is going to be upset. So when you know that when you know you know that when your child is upset about a particular thing, that pushes you and you get you get annoyed. You get up there, you just want to shout. Prepare your mind. Avoid that happening. When that when you know that that's about to happen, you can just take a walk away. You can go to your bedroom. You can go to the washroom. You can just do something that you love doing. If you love playing music, just go ahead and play the music. It is not bad for you. There is nothing wrong with a parent that is ignoring the child. We need that time sometimes. Just ignore. Ignore. You know, sometimes these kids are just looking for attention. Sometimes they're just looking for you to shout. They're just waiting for mommy. Ah! you to shout they just want you to rant it means you're giving the reward already you are giving to them what they want why not just keep quiet and just look at your child sometimes i just look away mm -mm, i don't care if you want to cry cry you know i tell my children something i say that, that, the moment you cry about something oh my god you can't get it so they know the rules in our house like you cry for something you can't get it so they know the time i better don't cry because even if i cry it's not gonna help me I better keep quiet because I'll just be looking at you. Ah, it's okay. When you finish, I can just even advise. You know, I, I love my kids. You can go to the washroom and cry there, wash your face. You know, it, you know, when you don't give it back to them what they want, when you don't, sometimes they really want to get you, like they want to get you upset. You know, ah, you know but when you don't give, just they want you to come out, but you come cold. They get to the think that this is not working. They'll stop. They will stop it. Trust me on this one. They'll stop it. Moment that you realize that you're already escalating, just take a moment and take a deep breath. All the try that. It is very important for us to always take a moment for a very deep breath. Then we think through, does it really want it? Because there is a big difference between responding and reacting. And as parents, we have to respond thoughtfully. I 
believe you've been able to learn a new technique in anger management as a parent. Thank you once again for joining me today. Keep sending in your questions. In the coming week, maybe the next two, three weeks, we're going to be adding another question and answer time. Send in your question. And if there's any topic that you would like me to speak about, kindly send it to our email on the vision guide at gmail.com. Our email is being displayed on the screen right now. And don't forget that all our videos are now available on our YouTube channel. So if this video is blessing you, why not click the subscribe button and like. Don't forget to comment and don't forget also to share with friends and family. And my name is Oye Vilayo, your parenting coach. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. I love you. You know that. Bye.